I'm really excited for this video today because this is something that I used to always make with my mom. So it's bringing me down memory lane and bringing on all the nostalgia. My mom was a fourth grade teacher. She was a fourth grade teacher, I think for like 36 years, give or take. Um, she would make this every year with her students and it's just such a fun tradition to do around this time of year and it's really relaxing. It's gonna make your house smell amazing. What we always made were these beautiful um, dried fruit wreaths, which I'm going to show you guys. But I'm also going to show you a couple other things you guys can do with your dried fruit. So if you guys want to see how we make all this, then keep watching. The first step is to dehydrate your fruit. So I'm going to show you guys how I do that. So the first thing you're going to need is obviously a lot of fruit. Um, the amount of fruit you do will just make more or less um, different projects. So usually my mom would tell each kid to bring in around 12 pieces of fruit to make like a big wreath. The wreath I did make in this video is smaller than the ones that we normally would make, but I just wanted um, to show you guys different options, so I decided to go for a smaller one. So what we're going to do is take the oranges and apples and cut them thinly and as evenly as possible. That way they all bake evenly. Um, I also decided this year to do grapefruit. I've never done that before. So I decided to test that out and see how it looks. So once we have our orange slices cut, we can put those onto the tray. And I'm going to show you guys two different ways that you can dehydrate them. And you don't want to waste any of the orange. You can literally use all the little bits and pieces of it. So the way that my mom and I have always done it is we always have just used a food dehydrator. You guys can get these on Amazon. I will link the one that I bought down below. This one was on the cheaper side. I think it was like 38 bucks, but they can get pricey. So I am just piling up all the fruit and cutting it. I think in total I used four oranges. So that is what we're gonna do. And we're just going to keep stacking these on top of each other. Once we have all of our trays, we can put the lid on and let these cook. There's no settings on this one, so you just plug it in and let it go. It will take probably like a day and a half, I'd say, for each round of fruit. So when the fruit looks like this, it is so beautiful, but if you touch it, it will feel a little sticky, which means it's not quite ready yet. My mom and I and like all of her students have, that still have these wreaths, they really do last that long. So some people have them and they're like 20 years old. Um, so as long as you dry your fruit out properly, they won't get moldy or anything like that. So that's why I just keep checking them. And also you will want to rotate the trays of the fruit because the ones at the bottom tend to get drier faster. So now I'm moving on to apples and you can use all different types and colors of apples for this project. Next, we're gonna do the grapefruit. And again, like I said, I've never done a grapefruit before, so I was really excited to do this. And the fruit smells so amazing when it is dehydrating, especially the grapefruit. It just made the house smell so clean and just so warm and cozy. So I absolutely loved using this. So for the grapefruit, I'm gonna share with you guys an easy way you can do this at home without having to buy any machines. So I have this baking, um, I guess it's not a baking tray, it's like a cooling rack for cookies. So what I'm gonna do is put all of the orange slices onto the tray, like so, and then we can put this in the oven at 200 degrees, and I say it takes anywhere from about like two hours to maybe four to six hours in the oven. It's definitely a little bit faster than using the dehydrator, but then you don't have to have your oven running all day. So here is what the oranges look like when they're all done. They are so cute and beautiful. Also, I had to share this little rainbow. I don't know if you guys noticed in the last video too, there was a rainbow and I feel like it's a sign from our baby in heaven and it just made me so emotional. Um, so now I'm going to share with you guys what the apples look like. The apples come in all sorts of shapes and sizes, so don't freak out if they're not perfectly rounded flat. Some of them 
will be kind of silly looking like the one on the left but you don't even notice it when they're in the wreath and it makes it look really beautiful and last but not least are the grapefruit slices i love how these turned out and i love how big they are and i'm so excited to do a project with these so the first thing i'm going to show you guys how to make is the wreath so for this wreath i'm using this floral wire i got this at michael's in the floral section like where they have the um like styrofoam wreaths and things like that you don't have to use this you could also just use like a coat hanger or any other type of wire you have i just like this one because i like the color of it and i just feel like it's really easy to use so the way that I do it is I usually do one orange and then I put on three apples. And this is just so simple to do. Um, every now and then you'll get an apple that doesn't have a hole in it and that's no big deal. You can just take a pair of scissors and cut out a little hole. Just be really careful when you do this not to cut yourself. So like that little text bubble just said, these are so yummy to eat. That was one of my favorite things to do when I was little. Um, I would always like sneak into my mom's classroom and I would just start eating all of the apples because they taste like apple chips and they're so good. So I was definitely eating these again this year. As I mentioned earlier, you can make these wreaths any size you want. I wanted to make a cute little one this year. So this is the amount of fruit that I put on it. And once we have all of that together, we can just twist and tie off the um, wire. And like I said, it's so simple with this wire. And then what I did with these two little pieces is I just made a circle. That way it could hook onto a nail or whatever I'm gonna hang it onto. You can get really creative with these and add some greens, like some pine, or some berries, holly, anything you want. I decided I wanted mine to be a little bit more simple. So I have this burgundy um, velvet ribbon and I just made a little bow out of it. Decided to make the tails of the bow really long because I just thought it looked really beautiful that way. And I just hot glued this onto my wreath. And this is the final result. Next, I'm going to make this door decor. I didn't know what to call it. I couldn't remember what these are called, so we're just calling it door decor. Um, but what we're gonna do is the same exact thing that we did with the wreath. Basically, you can string these on in any formation that you would like. You could also add, if you guys can see in the back, I have these wooden beads. You could add some like wooden beads in between. You can just get so creative with this. This also doesn't have to be on this floral wire. You could do this on a piece of ribbon. Um, there's just so many possibilities and you also don't have to make it as long as I did. Um, but yeah, there's just so many different things you could do with it. So I got these um, wooden beads from Michaels. I wanted bigger ones, but this was all that they had and actually worked out really well. So I just added the beads onto the end. I wasn't sure what I was gonna do with it. And then I thought it would look really cute to turn this into the hook for the door. So I just twisted that around and made the hook. I feel like this one is perfect for those of you who like more of like a neutral Christmas because it's not really too colorful for you. Um, so now I have this ribbon that I used for our wedding bouquet. I have so much of this and I'm just putting some of that on the bottom. Again, if you want more color, you could put like red beads or red ribbon at the bottom or do whatever your heart desires. Next, I'm gonna show you guys how to make some Christmas ornaments. So if you guys saw last week's video, you would have seen that we decorated the family room for Christmas and I did a very simple kind of look and I used oranges on the tree, but I decided to make some actual ornaments with it. So I'm just taping off this piece of string that way I can add a bead to it. And again, you can get so creative with this and there's so many possibilities and I just think these are just so fun to make because you can make all different types of ornaments and it really doesn't cost much money to do it. 
So I'm just gluing on some cinnamon sticks and I do want to say that this fruit smells so good so when you have it on your tree or your door or if you have the wreath somewhere, anytime you walk by it you're going to smell it and it just smells amazing. So I'm just stringing on some cranberries with a needle and thread for my next ornament. Once that is tied off, you could either make a loop like that or you could just make a loop at the top and have it be straight. So I just went for a straight loop at the top and then I'm just adding on a cinnamon stick. I think these look so beautiful on the tree and they could also be a really great gift for someone or you could even do the same style and just add it to your gift wrapping this year. So the next thing that we are going to do is make some potpourri. This is so simple and easy. Just add in all of your leftover pieces, sprinkle on some cinnamon, and you can also add in some cinnamon sticks. Again, you could add in some greens and berries if you wanted to, and it is done. It smells absolutely amazing. You could also sprinkle cinnamon on the other pieces that we made too, because it just adds such a cozy smell. These next two things are just two random things I ended up doing with the leftover pieces. So I added some into our garland and then I also added one of the ornaments to the car and it makes it smell amazing. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!